from Defiance High School's Bulldog Studio One, the Defiance News Network, featuring Ethan Ingle, Lydia Fernandez, Peyton Corusso, and Mark Jordan. That's my line. Fine. Keep it. I intend to. Hello, Defiance. I'm Ethan Engel. And I'm Lydia Fernandez. And this is DNN. And now for some headlines. In our last episode, we reported on the DECA competition in January. The Distributive Education Clubs of America, otherwise known as DECA, are now preparing for state competition in Columbus. They will leave DHS on March 10th after school and spend the weekend presenting their projects for judging. Examples of DECA projects include an innovation project where a group creates a new product, like on the show Shark Tank, franchising a business, or presenting a business growth plan. If students score high enough, they will qualify for national competition, which will be held in Atlanta. So work hard and DECA your very best. Mm -mm. On February 11th, Defiance High School held an informal neon theme dance. There was no particular occasion, a good time was just in order. I boogied on over to the event and spoke with some of the party harders. I'm here now, the party. Gonna do some interviews, gonna do some interviews. Let's see what we find. Let's see what we find. Hey, we got someone who's gonna show us his favorite dance move. What's it called? The whip. Do it. And there you have it. As a member of student council, what'd you do to make this dance happen? Well, we literally had a meeting about it Monday and we're just like, we're gonna have a dance Friday. We're like, okay. So we started like figuring out like who's gonna do decorations, who's gonna help sell tickets, um, and who's gonna make the playlist. So we're here at the informal. What are you two most excited for? Uh, the cornhole. I'm just here for the cornhole. What brings you two ladies here? Are you guys enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm having a good time dancing with my friend Reagan. Um, I got to see Mark Jordan swivel in the air. <laughs> swivel in the air. So, what are you most hyped for? Um, the singing. I lost my voice. Um, I got prom queen <clears throat> at the basketball game, so that was hype. Um. Overall, lit crazy movie. Lit crazy movie. Prom season has begun. Defiance's prom is slated for April 30th from 7.30 to 11 at the Eagles. The theme is Enchanted. And the colors are green, gold, and white. Tickets will be priced at $50 for a couple and $35 for a single. Late into the day last Wednesday, the weather outside got frightful as winter storm Landon hit Defiance. Once it finally started snowing, we received roughly a foot of snowfall, causing school to close from Wednesday through Friday. Here now is the DNN crew reporting on what they did during this major weather event. Yeah, so I was tasked with doing something in the, in the wind, like with the bad weather and whatnot. As you see, the weather is immaculate. For those who don't know, I am sleeping. In the tarp. There's a little behind it. Oh, my dad currently using the tractor. I was gonna go for a ride on it, but oh, he just broke a tree. Which isn't fun.
so not much happened yesterday, but uh, today there's a lot of snow. I'd almost be willing to bet that almost everyone watching has seen or heard of the cartoon or live action story of Beauty and the Beast. But have you ever seen it live? The high school production of This Timeless Tale is underway, and here is an inside look on what it takes to make a musical. Preparation takes to be the beast. Well, I'd say a week in isolation helps. Being a naturally big guy, scary fangs, mean look in the eyes. Well, the first step in set construction is to have an idea of what you want it to look like when it's completed. What I do is I actually do a series of sketches or drawings so that it kind of shows me loosely what it's gonna look like. And then I do detailed drawings to scale so that I can actually know how everything exactly measures in, in inches and feet and what all pieces and parts that we need. We're really lucky at the stage because we have a lot of pieces and parts in storage from things that have been used previously so we don't have to build everything totally from scratch. We have a series of, of platforms that can be used in different levels. We have a, a series of stairways that are already made that we can do and arrange. And I actually had that in mind when I designed this to say, okay, I've got a stairway this size, so I can make this platform this tall or um, arrange it in a certain way. So once you have all the ideas and have everything drawn and planned, then it's a matter of accumulating the pieces and parts, which um, we all just worked on that and the pieces and parts are everywhere around the auditorium. Some are upstairs, some are downstairs, some are in the back. Um, they're coming from, from here, there and everywhere. But now we have everything accumulated on stage that we need the basic pieces to start piecing together the set that we're trying to build. I watch a lot of Beauty and the Beast, like all of the movies, all the musicals. I mean, you really just become the character. It feels pretty like amazing to like be the cause of the whole musical. There's like some some people are like unappreciative of my part, but it's really fun to like cause everyone's demise, you know. I'm supposed to tie this on here, but I don't know how. Why do you have paint on you? Because uh, I'm not a painter. You know, I'm excited. I've never done something like this, so to be crass as I was, I'm really excited. Do you think they'll light your hair on fire? I wish. Like, if I have to growl, like, I'm gonna growl. If I have to be mean, I'll get right up in there. And does the Wolverine haircut help? I have no idea. It kinda just grew like that, and I'm sticking with it. Can you please do a Wolverine pose? You want some, bub? I am most excited to see all of our new cast members um, blossom on stage and I'm really excited to see some of our veteran members come out of their shells more as they're challenged in different roles this year. What's your painting? Um, some wood. Why? For the background. Why? Because I was asked to. Why? I don't know. Yeah, Drake really wails on me during this production. Like I have I'm scared of getting a broken nose, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, hard sometimes not to act you're, actually injure Ethan. You're literally a fiery redhead that is out to kill me. The show opens March 10th at Defiance Auditorium and runs through March 13th. Tune in to our next episode for some more information and behind the scene peaks. Up next are some words to live by, followed by sports with Mark and Peyton. Never put passion before principle, even if win, you lose. Hola, soy Espanol Eddie. Here, we have a sneak peek of what we do in Spanish class. In Spanish one, we learn numbers. Uno! Como se dice a hundred in Espanol? Cien. Muy bien.
Wait. In Spanish too, we learn how to start conversations and our pronunciations. ¿Cómo te llamas? <laughs> Me llamo Caroline. <laughs> What's up, Defiance? I'm Peyton Kressel. I'm Mark Jordan. Now let's talk sports. Last year, Defiance started its own esports team who went undefeated in its first year. We talked to the coach, Mr. Kressel, to get some more insight into the emerging world of esports in our own school. All right, so esports, uh, obviously the E stands for electronic sports. Um, it, we'll just call it what it is. It's organized video game playing. Uh, and it's a great opportunity for kids that normally wouldn't be involved in a sport to play something, um, blah, blah. But uh, in general, you need to go, if you actually want to be involved, to go to eSports Ohio um, online and check out the website because it's got the games, it's got the rules, it's got all these things um, to explain uh, how they have it set up competitively. Um, we are transitioning out of the COVID year, so before uh, it was all remote, but now we're trying to get it back to uh, being in, in person and things. So. Um, to the outside observer, it's just our student section at a basketball game. But to those of us here, it's Kirk's Crazies, named after the former basketball coach, Kirk Lehman. Two weeks ago, Kirk's Crazies became the number one student section at the boys' basketball game against the point. Our field reporter, Joshie Thompson, got an exclusive interview with the Crazies leader, Wade Liffick, to see how crazy it is to be number one. How does it feel finally being ranked number one on NWO Sports? Oh yeah, it's a great feeling. It's fun seeing the uh, rankings change every week and putting them out. And uh, I'm glad they have that account rolling. And it's just fun to see us going up and finally getting number one and trying to be the last we can. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. What's it take to lead a student section? Uh, well, you got to sacrifice your voice for sure. Because as you can hear, like from a couple nights ago, my voice still isn't. Uh, kind of recovered from that. And it takes, um, you got to be really loud. You got to know a little bit about basketball. And you got to have passion. And, so yeah, I tried all those things, and yeah, I tried to do the best I can. Thank you. Three weeks ago, Defiance's girls divers became top five at the WBL swimming and diving meet. Lily Lacey took first place, followed by Ellie Fleshman in third, and Gabby Rittenauer in fifth. We ran Josh Thompson back across the building to talk to these couple of dolphins in human form. Now I'm here with Lily Lacey. Lily, what have your accomplishments been this season? Um, I've PR'd every meet this season, so that's good, and I won WBLs three weeks ago. And now we're heading into districts, and I'm ranked third going into the meet, and hopefully going to state. What have you been doing to prepare for the postseason? Um, we practice six days a week, three hours a day. Um, don't get very many breaks, so we're able to be very consistent with our dives. So that really helps in the meets. Thank you. The Super Bowl was last weekend and the coveted Vince Lombardi Trophy was battled for by the Cincinnati Bengals and the Los Angeles Rams. The final score was 23-20. Sorry, Mr. West, since he was close, but no cigar. Shut up, Mark. <laughs> well, that's all the fights. I'm Mark Jordan. And I'm Peyton Crestle. And you, you guys got sported. sported. Yes, there's many good reasons, like my favorite movie, War of the Buttons, and... It's a beautiful language and it can help you develop critical thinking. We learn and celebrate French holidays. We learn in different ways, such as writing, speaking, games, and coloring, and so much more. We get to eat French foods in class. We learn about many French-speaking countries. French can improve your vocabulary in English. So we can travel to France and all the French-speaking countries. Those are some pretty good reasons. I think I'm going to sign up. And now, this. Ethan Engel is still single. Well, is there a reason for that? No, I can think of. Well, you're not thinking hard enough. When there's something that needs investigating, Jackson is your man. Here's Jackson Hansberger with a deep dive into a DHS controversy. Take it away, Jackson.
snack store. Once a place full of fun and snacks, now a place full of fear and desperation. It officially opened in 1942, but money from the store goes towards state funding. Fish posh, it's all a lie. I know this for a fact, and this is factual information. Money also goes towards buying new materials. This is fish posh. Now, I have three possibilities, three suspects. Mrs. Cooper, lunch ladies, and the government. Mrs. Cooper is embezzling money. This is a known fact. If you don't believe this, who are you? The lunch ladies, a food-based cult. Everyone should know this by now. Have you not seen what they do when we are going out of the room? This is facts. And the government is trying to control the world! This is facts! Now I have taken the proper safety precautions by wearing this hat. Now let's go! Guys, this is her, this is her room. Ah, I got you! I know what you did to the Deca store. What did I do? You closed it down because you were embezzling money. Yes, I needed the money, but you'll never find out about that. See, I got it on camera. Ha, you just got caught. The Illuminati cult. I know there's one. Tell me about it. What about it? Who is your leader? My leader is inside there. Inside the We know where to go. But who? It's a she. Her name is Sherry. We need to go, guys. Go, 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 go. Guys, I think I think that's her. I think that's her. You! Are you the head lunch lady? I am. Are you uh, are you ahead of the food cult? I am! Whoa! Oh! Oh! I got it! It's on camera, guys! Okay, did you guys close down the deck? We did! Oh! On camera, guys! On camera! Who do you serve? Who is your lord and savior? Me. She is the reason. She's the reason! We gotta go! She's gonna get us all! The government would not let me in. So they are obviously guilty and they're hiding something. Mrs. Cooper is embezzling money and is a part of the food cult. And the food cult shut down the deck store and they're all in cahoots. Everyone's guilty, even you, even me. We're all guilty here. This is you have to protect yourself with foil. Cover yourself in it. You won't get brainwashed. This is facts. This is Jackson Hosberg and I'm signing off. He resembles the Tin Man. Think he has a heart? Think he has a brain? That's the end of this episode, Defiance. Tune in next time for a brand new Wano Tries. I'm Ethan Engel, and I put the Engel in single. And I'm Lydia Fernandez, and no one cares, Ethan. Well, that's all Defiance. I'm Mar Jordan. And I'm Peyton Kressel. And, and now that was is your sports, sports rundown. rundown. <laughs> that was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs>